Mr. Madam Speaker, Chair. Senator Braun. I'd like to call up my uh, amendment number one uh, to amend the Employment Retirement Income Security Act of 74 to clarify the fiduciary duty of plan administrators to select and maintain investments based solely, solely on financial factors, not other purposes. Re retirement plan administrators should be acting in the best interest of participants to maximize return on their investment. Instead, the Biden administration, uh, Department of Labor, has proposed a rule that will essentially force workers and businesses into supporting corporations deemed woke through ESG, governmental, social, and governance funds. A number of studies have shown that regardless of what you're wanting to do there, uh, it will give you worse rates of return. And I think those two purposes need to be separated. The time when energy costs are soaring and Americans are grappling with $5 gasoline, why are we politicizing American retirement funds and targeting companies that invest in energy resources that will give us back our independence. We shouldn't be mixing the two. We should not be sacrificing the retirement savings of thousands of individuals to promote policy objectives. I'm offering this amendment to clarify the fiduciary duty of plan administrators to select and maintain investments based solely on return on investment financial reasons. The objective of this bill is to build a stronger retirement system for all Americans. This amendment ensures this, and it couldn't be at a better time given current conditions, and I will ask for a vote on it. Thank you, Senator Braun, uh, for offering the amendment. Um, I believe that Congress should not be in the position of picking winners and losers in terms of our retirement plan <coughs> investments. Retirement plans actually hire experts who are much more qualified to make these choices than we are, and those experts have legal obligations to both the plans for which they work and the participants in those plans. I think the better approach is the one I took with Senator Smith in the Financial Factors in Selecting Retirement Plan Investment Act, which we actually introduced earlier this Congress and Senator Smith filed an, as an amendment. In that bill, we codified neutrality with respect to ESG investments and would allow planned fiduciaries to exercise their expertise within the bounds of their existing ERISA obligations. Accordingly, I will vote no on this amendment. I urge my colleagues to do the same. Um, is there, is there anyone else who would like to speak on this amendment? Senator Burr. Madam Chairman, let me, let me just make this very clear. This is a vote on whether a fiduciary should always make investment decisions based upon the best monetary interest of the <laughs> participant, <coughs> period. Um, now, that makes so much common sense to me. I'm going to support the amendment because to exclude the participant from the process and say, no, whoever you hire should have complete control of where the investments go and you don't matter, that's just wrong. So I'll support the, the amendment.